math. Math is one of those subjects that brings up different feelings for different people. For some, they love it and it's fun. And for others, they may feel that they are not good enough for math and this may make them feel fearful of the subject. Either way, in early childhood education, it is really important to help children to develop positive feelings about math because it is applicable to our everyday life. And so in this video, I just want to go over an overview of math in early childhood. So just remember that we are working with young children. We're not going to be teaching calculus or anything complicated, but just with young children, how can um, there's an overview of how math should look like, how we should teach them, how not to teach them math. And then I will end with just going over the five, um, giving an overview of the five strands of math. Why is math important in early childhood education? I'll give you five reasons here. First, it develops flexibility, imagination, curiosity, inventiveness, and persistence, all skills which are important to succeed in the subject. So one thing I wanted to highlight was persistence because math does take a lot of practice for some. I know it did for me. A second reason why math is important is that it does predict future reading achievement. Did you know that math and reading were correlated? So the stronger you are in math, the stronger you are in your reading skills and vice versa. So as according to early childhood education experts, they do say that it does predict future reading achievement. The third reason is that it develops logic. So math is a very logical and predictable um, skill. When you add three to two, you will never have another answer except for five. So it's a very logical um, and just, like I said, um, predictable. And a lot of the math is like that way. It's just built on, on logic. So it helps a child to develop those logic skills. The fourth reason is that it is important to pers for personal life. As we as adults know, that it is important for us when we do our budgeting or if we go shopping, when we do our taxes, which I know is never fun, but it's, it's there for us. Those skills are important. And even when we cook, you know, if we need to divide a recipe in half, you know, then we have to half all the ingredients. So it is um, very practical. And the fifth reason is that it's, it is integrated into many fields, pretty much everything. I can't think of a field that is not integrated into because it's just something that you need to, um, if you just do a budget or counting or measuring or um, spatial relationships. So it is incorporated to, into all the different fields. So math is a very good, strong skill to have. How should math be taught in preschool? So I came up with this acronym for math. So M stands for manipulative, because I think one of the most important things is to have something that the child can count or use when you're even doing um, addition and subtraction or even a little bit higher math, that there is something that they can touch. And this is really important for students who are tactile learners to involve other senses, that they can have something to count, that it's not just um, reciting numbers, but there's something that they can learn one-to-one -one correspondence or to be able to just build on and have something that they can use to help them learn math. A stands for application, helping the child to apply math skills in their everyday life. Like if they're out playing in the playground and then they're playing in the sandbox and um, if they're just putting sand into a truck and you can ask them how many buckets of sand does a truck hold and then they'll count they'll start filling it and going well one two and then they go it takes three bucket fulls to fill this truck so that's application and it also shows them that it's relevant to different things that they like to do in their everyday life then T stands for time to think and this is something more for the teacher to keep in mind when you are teaching a child or when you're asking a child a math question, say, okay, if you have two gummy bears and I give you three more, how many do you have? And it's important to pause, let them think, maybe, you know, move the bears around and let them come up with the answer because a lot of times when I had observed teachers is the teacher will say, okay, you have two bears and I give you three more. How many do you have? Five? 
And so instead of giving them that time to figure it out themselves, um, the teacher will, because they, they're maybe, if I know I was, was kind of afraid of that pause. So, but don't be afraid of the pause. Let them figure it out. Don't give them the answers. And even if they're wrong, you can ask them again. Do you want to count again? You know, if they if you have two gummy bears and you give them three and then they tell you four, you can say, well, let's count again. Let's try this again. And so just pausing and letting them think, giving them that time. And then H is for hands-on, similar to manipulatives, but in the early years, the child really needs to experience and to just um, be able to do math, not just be given problems, but to be able to experience math in their everyday life. So give them hands-on opportunity. Math should not be a series of math problems or worksheets, especially in preschool, in early childhood, because this is a place where you're showing the child how math is just incorporated and how it is a part of their life. There are five strands of math according to the frameworks in California and they are number sense, algebra and functions, measurement, geometry, and math mathematical reasoning. And I will be going through each of these in separate videos so you can view them separately and just look at the ones that you would like more information or more details about.